For music videos, the music steers everything. Music is actually visual. Like music looks a certain way. So if a song is angry or happy or sad, that's gonna steer your creativity. My name's Daps, aka Flex God Daps. I'm an award-winning director, and in this series, I'm working with up-and-coming filmmakers as they prepare for and shoot a music video. So let's tap into their process and see how they're making it. Yes, I'm from Northwest London. I'm born in Nigeria, and now I live stateside. The first video we ever made was right here, probably 2002, right here on the Grand Park Estate. I definitely have my own visual style. I like stuff that looks like photographs. A lot of my stuff, for me, feels like photography in motion. I think it's very important, you know, to mentor up-and-coming filmmakers, because I was, I was also mentored by, by people, you know? And that was a big help for me. So when you see someone that has extra talent, extra push, you know, it's good to grab them, give them a hand and pull them up. The way I've seen the industry evolve, you know, you can use a phone and shoot a video on it and it looks like so dope. So I'm having these new filmmakers shoot the video on a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G because I want to see how that combination of a dope idea, a dope song and a new product, how that all fits together in one to do something that we don't typically see in our field, which is shooting a whole music video on a phone. The first director I'm mentoring for the Samsung project is Fernando Manuel. Where are the Arepas? Are they done? Uh, they're in the... Oh, fire. That's all I really... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they need a little bit more time. Hi, I'm Fernando. I'm a director and photographer. Fernando's visual style, he's dope, man. Like, he's a, he's a, he's a dope creative. I would say he's very artsy. Do we have... Oh my God, we don't have cheese. Uh, <laughs> Cheese is very important in the Venezuelan cuisine. I've been directing for like two and a half years, so really not much compared to most people right now um, calling themselves directors, but I've definitely had a lot of practice uh, with my sister considering we've mostly been doing music videos. So what we usually do around here is we love to have like a Venezuelan breakfast. We're all actually from Venezuela and um, but raised in the states but we try to keep the culture very alive and we make arepas which are like cornmeal sandwiches well, what do you say they are yeah they're like cornmeal they're like pancakes. cornmeal pancakes but they're savory i'm maya and i'm a singer songwriter it's not typical pop i call it wavy i don't know what the category is but it's just wave music. It's ethereal, experiential music, I feel like. So yeah, our first time working together was like- Yeah, I was in high school. I, I had like a random gig in Miami that I needed like pictures or something. And No, but I remember um, that first time like we were shooting, we, I remember getting into an argument together and just like, oh, yeah. like we need to quit this. We're here to like do this. Like, what are we doing? Okay. And then honestly, it's been a lot of that like, Bickering, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, just like sibling <laughs> stuff, you know, like that happens. But at the end of the day, like I think right now we're at a, such a good point that we've both gotten really used to just working together and like apart as well. Trust. And there's a lot of trust involved for sure. The song we're shooting a video for is called Versos de Placer. It's a song that I wrote um, during the quarantine, actually. I was actually extremely uninspired during the pandemic and the lockdown. And she was just trying to write something just to write. And that was like the seed of this video, which is essentially what it's like to be a creative. So it's Maye forcing yourself to write a song. Ferran really nailed it, because it's kind of like a physical representation of what my brain is like when I'm writing, you know? When I read his treatment, the first thing I realized was that, oh my God, this guy gets it. Yeah, I'm so beyond grateful for Daps. It's really cool that he saw my treatment. I'm glad he connected with the concept. I want to see how this translates into a real objective outcome that we can look at and view and be inspired by. So yeah, today is pretty much to supervise what's going on with the set. We're shooting everything on the Samsung, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn! No, yeah, and we're- That makes everyone's life a little easier, huh? I mean, it yeah. It definitely allows us to move faster, I think. So much faster. I mean, we have to push in like 50 shots in nine hours. Okay, which is psychotic. It. So we're gonna be taking photos of every shot and running down each setup 
Fernan always has a habit of actually drawing out the storyboard and the shot list. What I see in Fernando's directorial approach that reminds me of myself is that he knows the whole visual, what the end result is going to be before even going on set. I'm really excited to see this house in person. Yeah. Have you seen it? No, no, no. not in person. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. The idea is that the mountains of paper are coming there and then it's dissipating this way, but there's still paper here and maybe a couple here and there, maybe just like paper's gonna be like raining down from there. I am nervous, but I'm, I, I think we got it under control, really. If anybody asks, this is recycled paper. Oh no, we are going to recycle it though. Crumble more paper. Crumble a lot more paper <laughs> and just cover, cover this mirror. All of this. How are you gonna cover the mirror? With paper. It's a very fast birth of a project that I'm not used to, but I'm excited to, to see it happen. When you're creating on a quick timeline, the most important factors to consider is how efficient can you be? This shoot specifically, I saw that the best case was to create one set that transformed. Hey Daps, how are you? The man, the man of the moment. Thanks for answering, man. Just wanted to, you know, catch up and tell you what's going on before the shoot. Have you got a shot list yet? Yeah, yeah, we have the shot list. I think a little higher and zoomed in. Honestly, everything you, you gave me in feedback, I totally saw. For me, you know, being on set, like I said, it all starts with prep. So the better your communication in the prep, the better the result's gonna be because there's less confusion on set. All right, crumble it and throw it as fast as you can. And action. So I set up the 8K snap and like there's so many frames in it. Whoa. Look at that, that's so cool. This, why you look at me? Yeah, we definitely need to cover the mirror. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better now. Coming today and taking those frames with the phone was so securing because I feel like I could see it. We're coming in tomorrow to a set that's already, that the world has already created. So much paper. <laughs> so Fernando has everything figured out. He's got segment by segment, and that helps him on set. We've been prepping for this moment for a while, oh, and now man. it's my time yeah. to shine <laughs> and not mess this up. <laughs> you got this, let's go. We got this. Quiet on set, rolling, and action. Faster, faster, faster. <gasps> yes! Keep staying, yeah. feeling it, it's coming alive. From full shot to close up, like everything. Beautiful. All right, cuts. I'm feeling so, so relieved. It's very rare to be able to capture everything you need. I honestly can't believe we did it, but we did. There was a lot of limitations on time, which made me have to reorganize my thoughts on how we were gonna capture everything. You know, in music videos, schedules will be tight. 45 minutes behind, if we don't do this, we don't get the rest of the video. Like, glitter is a tiny detail we can't afford to it's lose everything for. Detail. You know, you need enough, like, dexterity and flexibility to think on your feet. Even though we did capture everything I wrote down, we captured it in a slightly different way that I had to reimagine on set. I proved something to myself this time around that I could place myself in these situations. But you're not looking at camera. You're in your own world. Yes, that was perfect! My brother and I started making videos like out of nothing. And now that we're here, it kind of is a little bit of a full circle moment. I see his gift and he sees my gift too. So I'm just kind of like, whoa, this is so cool that we get to do this together. So Maya and Fernando, you know, their potential as artists is absolutely limitless. There is no ceiling. I'm excited for people to see a young, queer Latino doing something because the opportunity came and was prepared for it. And yes. I want people to see this video and be inspired to be themselves and to never doubt themselves, really. It was perfect? Okay. Yeah. All right. That's a wrap.